Hello, my friends. I'm going to do a Dutch pour today, and I'm keeping it very simple. Just three colors. I got silver, modern masters, Prussian blue. No, not Prussian blue. Payne's gray by, what is this? Creative Inspirations. And then a mix of a couple of Grumbacher colors. Grumbacher red and cobalt blue hue, mostly red, to come up with a nice red violet. So, I don't know. I think it could be quite dramatic. So, that's what I'm doing on a white base. So let me get the white base coat put down and then we'll get to work. I'll be right back. Okay, got the white base coat down. Now, this is a little thinner than I usually go, at, at least not the consistency, but the amount I used, and then I tilted it so much to cover that um, I believe the amount on here is less than normal. So that will be interesting to see if it has an effect on the appearance when I'm done here. Um, I think I'm going to start with a red violet. I'm going to do maybe two courses of each color. And I remembered the wiggle from the from the beginning. Oh man, there's there's so many pet hairs in here. Ugh. Oh my word, there's a bunch. I thought they were bubbles, but I think they're... I don't know. Oh well, they're practically invisible. I'm not going to worry about them. Okay, and now the... Payne's Gray. And Silver. Do I want to add more color? I think I do. And the red violet and then I'll stop. Okay, now to get my trusty little uh, hair dryer out. And set on low. Let's start over here and see what...
I might turn around high. Lots of lacing with the uh, silver. I just don't like using it on high when I I kind of like the uh, choppy, Look, there's a big hair, I've got to get that out of there. <laughs> uh, maybe it's my hair. Um, the, uh, I don't know how to describe it, that look instead of the, the roundy, I, I like it. So I'm going to change up some of these edges. Well, it's definitely different with the uh, thinner base coat. It was a little more challenging to move the paint around, but um, kind of like the the lacy look with the silver. It's quite fascinating. Let me just do a little tiny bit of skewer work, little flourishes here and there. Okay, I, oh, this is a weird one. Look at that funny thing. So that one I could keep going. I think I'll, I'll stop. I might, re oh my gosh, they're everywhere. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. But anyway, let me bring you in and show you. I think it's quite, quite wonderful. lacing like you get with the, the silver. I have 
have to say, I don't think it looks great through the camera here, but in person, I like it very much. Gosh, I love Payne's Gray. And um, I used Chromacryl Essentials for the base, and you get nice little white cells. Sally, not anything too nutty. I like it. I think this is interesting, kind of a shadow effect over here. Hmm. Well, there you go, folks. I'm, I'll am i stop uh, staring at it, and I'll turn off the camera. <laughs> or I'll turn off the camera and then continue to stare. So thanks for joining me, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Okay, I'm back with a few closing thoughts. <laughs> I think... Um, I think the white base coat was a little too stretched out. I, I should have had more on it because as you saw, I needed to use the dryer on high to move the paint around. So I didn't have enough underneath to support good movement there. Secondly, I think I added too much color. Um, I had too much on there for this small canvas. So now I have lost some of my negative space that I would prefer to see there. I scraped some of this off. I didn't care for the way that looked. Scraped it off and added white and blew it out. Now, this is too congested in here. And it's just too dangerous to try to scrape that out. I mean, where do I go? Where do I stop? So I poured the white I had left in the big plastic cup into this paper one so I can make a little spout. And I'm just going to pour over and make some negative space there to bridge, bring this in a little further. So, wish me luck. Okay, that helped. And this also bothers me. Uh, I do the same thing. I like to cover. Bring it. So I'm, I I don't have much left. I'm gonna just come in here. Well, that's awkward. Let me try to cover that up. That's better, I think. Yeah, I think that helped. I might skewer a little more, but anyway, I, I think I'll I'll stop for now. But I, that helped. So, P.S. <laughs> There's always more you can do. Thank you, my friends. Bye now.